The only thing I feel more strongly about than being physically cheap is being physically fit. In fact, I'm known as Guru amongst many others, including myself. And I think I earned that name because of how inventive I am with all of the ways that I know how to stay in peak condition. I don't need to pay to go to the gym because the world, the world is my gym. Today is the 6th annual Nate Olympics. I've invented tons of games and challenges for myself without having to spend a single cent. Who's participating? It's me. You know, it's just me. You know, that's good because that means I never lose. <laughs> At times like this, you gotta ask yourself, before TV, before film, before video games, before books, before even food and drink, what were people actually doing to have fun? And a lot of the times, I like to think that they were doing some of the cool stuff that I was. Plus, you know, playing with uh, rocks and sticks and stones by the river, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what do I look like, crazy? For the opening of the Nate Olympics, we have a very special guest. Please give it up for six-time NBA champion, Michael Jordan! Nate made a cardboard cutout of Michael Jordan. Oh, so that's where all the cereal boxes went. Have any words of wisdom, Mike? Did I get the actual Michael Jordan to appear at the opening ceremony of this year's Nate Olympics? No, no, I did not. Uh, that was a cardboard cutout, and not a life-size one at that. But, you know, maybe Michael Jordan will see this video and decide he wants to appear at next year's Nate Olympics instead. My grandpa always used to say when one door closes, another door opens. Great man. Terrible locksmith. The first event is what I like to call spin to win. Basically, you've got to stand on the spot, spin around ten times, and then navigate an obstacle course of my own creation. Let's get into it. The only problem with spin to win is that it can get very messy very quickly. And my ex-wife Shelly used to hate it. Whenever the Nate Olympics came around, she would go around to her friend Chad's house for the night, sometimes even entire days, and I wouldn't see her. But you know what? I'm done being a people pleaser. If that's okay with you guys. Event number two is a game I like to call Capski. Basically, I'm going to throw this little ball of paper, and it's my job to hit it with this hat. Every single hit is one point, and I need to score enough points to win. Of course, I've already won, because this didn't cost me a single cent. Let's get into it. Capski is a classic at the Nate Olympic Games. It's one of my favorites, because I'm so good at it. This year's Nate Olympics closes with a round of interpreted dance. Now, I know what you're thinking. Interpreted dance? That's not an Olympic sport, is it? Well, on the one hand, it gets you fit. And on the other hand, it's very, very fun. And I... And on the other hand, it's completely free. And that concludes another year of the Nate Olympics. As you can see here, I got an admirable score for spin to win. A pretty good one here for cap ski, but an overall disappointing one for interpreted dance. 
I can do better. Mom always dreads the Nate Olympics because the neighbors are always asking questions. Like last year, the police came over because Nate decided to play a game of how loud can I scream? The answer is very. I think that year was one of my favorites. What do you think, Michael?